Dave Warren, yeah. uh, that's familiar sights to you, right? Familiar, yeah. Well, you know it's unusual when uh, the adults go out to play in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Me here in Philadelphia, I was like, all right, kids, outside playing the snow. But yeah, we're not so talking about snow tonight, right? We yeah. have the rain to talk about uh, here. Uh, storms that developed along the sea breeze, then they intensified up to the north. Outflow flow from those storms triggered these just a short while ago, moving through parts of Miami-Dade. So all quiet right now. Even the Keys had a little activity here on real time. Doppler, but uh, things are pretty quiet. Uh, and rain amounts today again, areas uh, receiving up to an inch, maybe one to two inches that led to the flood advisories. So those are the numbers we have to look for tomorrow. We may not see quite as many, uh, but there is still the potential where we could get a shower or a storm uh, that gives us an inch or an inch and a half of rain in a short period of time that could lead to more flooding. Breeze is out of the south to southeast, and that's pushing the activity up to the north just a bit. That strong west wind is well up to the north. And that is what pushes the storms along the East Coast in the afternoon. So we're getting a little bit of both here. Uh, the storms not quite inland enough will be around again tomorrow. But a little change is this big area of dry air. Even some Saharan dust, not a lot, but a little bit. You might notice a little haze in the sky. Uh, but as the dry air comes in, that might limit the showers and storms tomorrow. They'll still be around. We still have the moisture around, but that dry air tries to work its way into the Keys. So maybe parts, areas of the south, you might notice a little haze in the sky tomorrow. Dry air passing by to the south in the Keys, a little limited uh, shower activity. And th that's a trend here for the weekend. Not quite as moist. The dry air gets a little drier. So showers are still just a bit spotty. Here's what it looks like tomorrow. Again, you get the showers developing late morning, working their way to the interior, working up to the north again. So areas south might get the heavier rain first, then it's into Broward County. And then these storms may try to trigger a few more across the area late afternoon, early evening. As far as the amounts go, well, there are one or two places forecast here to get uh, maybe an inch or a little more. So watch for the flood advisories tomorrow, but not nearly as widespread as it's been over the past few days. Uh, in the tropics, nothing expected here over the next five days, so still pretty quiet. South to southeast wind on the water, five to ten knots, one to two foot seas. Showers around those, so it could get a little gusty in and around those storms. 93, it's hot, but the showers cool things off. Heat index will feel like 102 to 105. Unless you get a shower coming through, then you get a little relief there. Hot sunshine through the weekend. By the start of next week, we are just above 90 with a mix of sun and storms. CBS 4 News Tonight. We'll be right back.